welcome to A Year of Joy. My name is Sherry Elise and I will be your joy reporter. Every single week I will be introducing you to one of your joy superpower partners. On behalf of the team of the art and science of joy, we are thrilled to be able to bring this to you. So without further ado, let's meet your joy superpower partner. I am so excited to introduce you to our next joy superpower expert in the year of joy, Clara Chorley. Hi, Clara. Hi, Sherry. Thrilled to have you here and to be talking today about bravery. Can you share with us a little bit about your journey with bravery and why you are personally so passionate about it? You know, I remember the very first brave, brave, brave decision that I made. And it was in my mid twenties and it was, I was growing up in England and I was really struggling and having a difficult time with the environment I was in. And I ended up randomly booking a flight to Honolulu mm. and I never went back to England after that. And it turned out to be the place where I healed and where I did all the things that moved my life forwards. And it was one of the first times and granted it was a big one, but it was one of the first times where I recognized this correlation between following something deep in me that didn't really make any sense, but that felt right, rather than all the ways I felt I should be living that weren't working for me. And as much as Hawaii sounds beautiful, it was a very, very brave decision to leave everything behind. Um, and that's when I started wrapping my arms around bravery. Ah, so powerful. I, I love that connection that you had to that part of you, that feeling, and then now teaching that and helping people with that. Share with us, why do you think that it's important for people to cultivate bravery? I am uh, absolutely convinced that there is a correlation between being brave and the reduction of suffering. Mm. I think the braver we are, the less we suffer from addiction or depression. And it's not that simple. And it's an intersection of things. And I'm certainly not saying if you were braver, you'd resolve everything. I'm not saying that. But there is a correlation between bravery and joy, mm -hmm. bravery and feeling a sense of personal control, appropriate levels of control. We grow up in these environments that offer us a way of success or a way of being loved or a way of belonging, or this is how you can be have have security. And we grow up in these environments or we find ourselves in these environments, but there's also our own internal environment. Do I match with this environment? Is this environment working for me? The corporate ladder in America is a perfect one. But even if you grow up in a village in Africa, you're growing into some sort of, you're coming out into some sort of societal, familial, cultural influences. And to step away from those and follow that thing inside that I was just mentioning towards something maybe I haven't seen. I just sort of feel it. I can't quite put my finger on it. That takes bravery. And the braver we are and the more we cultivate that bravery, starting small, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, or just staying small, it doesn't matter. But the more we cultivate that, the more we feel like us, the more life opens up to us, the more space there is for us, the better we feel, the more joyful we are. It's a really important, uh, it's a really important life skill. I love that. And, and you just mentioned, you know, the connection between bravery and joy. What have you seen in your own life where you feel that joy has risen because of your bravery? For me, it's definitely been through travel. There's no question. I mean, even up to five years ago, I took a one way ticket to Senegal and I've run a, a, quite a successful business for the last 14 years. So I had the security and the stability, but I was still able to go and be in a place that just gives me such joy. I love being in Africa and I wanted to do the one way thing and see what would happen. And I found out. So for me, geographic moves and often parts of my healing journey, you know, if I've been in very deep healing around things that have held me back, beliefs I've had about myself, I shared in my TEDx, I've had a lot of fears around I'm not inherently lovable. Mm. So whenever I've done healing around that, I've been brave enough to really look at that and explore that. It's opened up my heart more. I start realizing I'm completely and utterly lovable. And then I make different choices and different decisions with my life. So for me, there's been a geographic, which is a, uh, something that's just Clara. Um, and then this internal journey as well. I think we have to find out where our brave edges are and, uh, and move towards those. 
And I love that. And we are going to find out about where our brave edges are with you for an entire week at the Year of Joy. We are so honored to have you in the community. Thank you for being brave enough to be more you. And uh, we look forward to featuring you. You too, Sherry. Right back at you. Thank you. 